Oh yeah, good morning, Eleanor. That's right. It's a very hot spot for people for and against this statue to meet every year. And right now it's quiet. There's nobody out here right now, but that could change here shortly and we'll let you know if it does. Take a look back though. This statue was first installed in 1905 and since then groups of people both in support and against the statue gather here on Columbus Day to share their thoughts. And back in 2020, demonstrators against the statue demanded its removal, but former Mayor Gratishar denied those demands saying he wasn't sure the city government could find a solution for the statue. And we spoke with some people in the past who explain why they believe it's important these demonstrations happen each year. To show respect for our heritage and culture and our ancestors that working very, very hard, respecting that whole tra tra uh, traditional heritage, etc. So that's the that's the whole takeaway. That's why it causes us to come back each year. And we did just speak with a security guard out here. He says he's out here to make sure the statue doesn't get vandalized again. That happened back in 2020 and the guard says this year so far it's been quiet and back out here live again. We don't see anybody out here just yet, but there are some other Indigenous Peoples Day events happening around town. For more on that, we'll send things back to you.